The workshop held for Sexual Offences Squad was hosted by the Justice Services and Stability for Development and funded under the Papua New Guinea Australia Partnership Program. It comes under its priority areas to improve access to justice and help the protection for survivors of family and sexual violence. It was put together to reflect on the work of the SOS for the past three years and discuss the challenges, what currently works and how they can improve in carrying out their duties diligently. Lead facilitator, advisor Tevita Seroilumi, says the work is exhaustive and very traumatizing and impacts the implementers. Not many people value and recognize the work of the CID and prosecutions, so this is one way to say thank you while learning. Police prosecutor and OIC committal court sergeant Chris Eager said it was important that as prosecutors they know and understand how they would charge people committing sexual offenses, which relates to gender-based violence within the family circle, any organization or the public. He said they had learned a lot on topics surrounding sexual penetration of a minor, persistent sexual abuse, what kind of charges they can lay, understanding the concepts of why these laws have been changed or done away with, such as the rule of corroboration and the consent aspect of it. Salome Vincent, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.